諦めんなよ諦めんなお前どうしてそこでやめるんだそこでもう少し頑張ってみろよダメダメダメダメ諦めたら周りのこと思うよもう一周一周のこと思ってみろってあんたもうちょっとのところなんだから俺だってこのマイナス10のところしじみが取れるって頑張ってんだよ絶対やってみろ必ず目標達成できるだからこそイエローピーだあっあハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ You know you want to work. Come on, Cannon. Come on, buddy. I can feel it. I can feel it. You want to work. You are. <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name's Aaron Ciotti. Everybody just calls me Ciotti. In the background, you'll hear Sherwood's new album, which is pretty awesome. There it is. There's the name of the album. Can't really see it all that well. Some Things Never Leave You. Really, really good album. And、uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can get 18 copyright strikes. <laughs>、um, yeah, Big Willie says, What's up? Have you tried turning it off and on again? That's exactly what I did, Big Willie. <laughs> That is exactly what fixed it.、Um, all right, cool. And just getting OBS going here.、Uh, kind of a last minute impromptu stream. Uh, I'm kind of spreading it around a little bit though. Here, let me.、Uh, I'm throwing the, the link up here and there and everywhere. Let's just、uh, let's throw this link up in a couple more spots and we will get started on the repairs.、Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram,、uh, Patreon. If you're not in the Patreon, you're missing out. Scroll down a little bit, there's a link to the Patreon in the description. That's where all the really juicy stuff is happening.、Um, early edits,、uh, PID tuning advice, build advice,、um, all kinds of really good stuff. So、uh, join the Patreon, and I promise it'll be worth your couple bucks a month. All right, we're going to put this into. Where else do I want this to go?、Um, let me do this. Let me log in as myself, and that'll give me access to more groups to whore myself out to. Let's get it into Rotor Riot. That's a, that's, a that's, a, that's a necessity. Just in case, you know. You gotta just post in Rotor Riot over and over again. Eventually, maybe somebody will.、Uh, maybe more than one person will click like on it. <laughs> Or maybe they'll even pin it to the top.、Um, that's the real. That's the real magic. Getting one of your Rotor Riot posts pinned to the top, that'll get you some actual eyeballs.、Um, Alright, let's see where else I can drop this.、Um, I got these motors from Pyro Drones, so let's put it in there. Alright. Alright, so we're in Pyro Drone. LCV FPV says, haven't got to printing TPU yet, but if you need any PLA 3D prints, Um, I'd love to print you some. Just got in the game, loving this fun printing thing. Very cool, LCV. I will、uh, keep that in mind. That is much appreciated.、Um, yes, I do want to join Pyro Drone. Okay, and then、um, let me get this shared into Ruby's group because they're the only ones that know about this 4 inch frame.、Uh, and I'm going to find that by going to FPV, not development. That's the secret group. Um, where's the regular FPV cycle group? FPV cycle. Big Willie's got his ender dialed in like a son of a bitch. Why is it only. Oh, 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 because it's, it's not under that name. It's under. Oh, there's no space in between it. Okay. Alright, cool. And. Bob's 4 inch. Proto.、Um, Wee! 
<laughs> What's up, guys? What are you up to? Ken Hill, Noid FPV, John Dyson, Big Willie FPV, and LCD, LCV FPV. What's LCV, your initials? That's just my stomach, I swear. Look, I'm just scratching my stomach. Not scratching my balls that vigorously. They'd fly off. Um, or melt off. Alright, I think that's a good number of... Uh, I, I shared it to five or six groups. I think that's about good enough. Uh, trying to do more... Trying to be more active uh, socially. <laughs> hey, look at that! George Hall, the Bandalorian. Posting his stuff up on Rotor Riot. Dude! George, thanks for that. That's what, uh... That's the truth right there. Yeah, buddy. Alright. Should I have named this stream Watch Me Fucking Post on Facebook? <laughs> Very cool. Um... Yeah, when you guys get stuff, if you can just, like, share it absolutely fucking everywhere, <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> um, alright. Good, good, good. Let's get out of here and let's um, start working. Oh, we don't need to see that. Let's just prep this here. I like to keep that like that. And now we can go Control F13 and I'm back! Woo! Uh, spending some time on the lake tomorrow, Lake Lanier, that is, and, uh, that should be fun. Do a little bit more chasing of the, <laughs> uh, chasing of the wakeboarder. And yeah, that'll be fun. If you just came in, the music that you hear in the background is Sherwood's new album, which is called Some Things Never Leave You. So in a little bit here, I'm gonna have to go, uh, flip the record over. But you guys should check them out. If you like indie rock, um, Sherwood is a, is a phenomenal band. They've been around for a long time. Uh, their old album is really, really good uh, from like the 2000s, I guess, back when I was really, really, really into music. Um, Kristen and I used to go to shows like every other weekend, back when we lived up in New Jersey right by Philly. Um, yeah. All right, cool. I'm going to start working on some shit. And... Uh, you guys hang out, talk amongst yourselves, and if you want to talk to me, just remember, you gotta type C out of you. Let me try something, hold on. Well, I don't even know if I, can I tag myself? At C out of yeah, I can. So apparently, you don't even have to type the at tag? Is that true? Hey, look at that, that's pretty cool. So if you guys just type C out of FPV, it looks like it tags it for me. That's fucking awesome. What if you accidentally put a space in there? Mm, well, I just spelled my own fucking name wrong, so... There we go. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't work. Um, so yeah, cool. No at tag. You just type. Uh, you just type somebody's name. Wait, is, does it work with everybody? Big Willie FPV. Nope, doesn't work with ev everybody. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it tags Yapsy, but um, GoPro Hero Eight Fund can. Oh, oh, oh! I had an idea for the. F uh, fuck. What was it? Um. Oh, oh. Road. Uh, road mic goes. Let's. Um, Let's get the uh, let's get the audio situation uh, a little bit better. Uh, there's been zero money spent. This, so this is a uh, Zoom H2. This is what uh, I've had forever. It's it's mainly meant to be a battery powered mic um, with a little SD port uh, card port in the bottom. But uh, the the problem with it is. For, for OBS, it has to be plugged into USB, um, and I have this really nice ratcheting uh, USB cord for it, right? But it's not quite long enough to come over here when I'm at the workbench. Even if it was long enough, I hit it a lot. When I'm over here working, I, I bump the microphone a lot. So um, check this out. I think I have... Um, Again, as I've mentioned a bunch of times, I really, really try to uh, buy things that are multi-functional. Thus, you know, this battery-powered microphone, I can unplug this, bring it out to the field with me, and record voiceovers. But, again, I'm, I'm having to... So I did that with the T-Motor F40 Pro 4s, but the problem I was having is I wanted to walk around a little bit, just naturally, when I was um, talking about it. 
and this microphone was in the trunk of the car, so every time that I would I would go to walk around, I would walk away from the mic, so now all the audio is worthless. Um, so, I'm going to try, I've had really good luck with lav mics in the past, uh, lav being lavalier, those are the mics that clip to your shirt, uh, and there is a, Rode makes a wireless, uh, Go microphone, here it is, and, uh, yeah, this is, I think this is going to be our audio solution, it's nice and small, um, I can clip it to, I can, like, just throw it in my pocket, clip it on my pants or whatever, um, and then just run a lav mic up here. That way when I'm sitting here, it works. When I roll over here, it still works. And then when I go out, um, it's gonna work as well. I was thinking about the boom arm. I was thinking about getting a proper mic, uh, proper mic with a boom arm. I would have to mount the boom arm here, which I know is hard for you guys to see, but um, it's just, it's not, I don't think it's gonna work right with the, with the way that this little space is. I'm, I'm really trying to keep, I'm actually trying to condense this even more. Once I get up on the laptop, um, what I think I'm gonna do, I've got two uh, external monitors right now for the, for the tower down there. Um, I'm gonna bail on one of these, and then what I think I'm gonna do is take the other 23-inch um, Mac monitor and drop it here, and then the laptop is gonna go here. That way I can take this uh, DSLR and rotate it a little bit like this and that'll that'll kind of point more at me like like the way it is now I have to kind of like lean a little bit here to get properly like in the shot I, I twisted the camera a little bit that's when we started to pick up um, you know you guys might have noticed that's when this all of a sudden came into frame and we lost some of this so yeah I don't know I got a couple ideas in mind I think though if I get the um, if I get this 23 inch monitor dropped here what'll be nice is when i'm here working the chat will be right there right now the chat is all the way over there so like when i'm head down working i have to like look all the way over and a lot of times i actually have to roll a little bit um so yeah i think uh i think a, a lav mic might be the the best plus then like if i'm flying the whoop or if i'm walking around the house or whatever like you guys will still have audio once i'm on the laptop i'll have the uh uh the 5.8 gigahertz uh Ishin thing so i think i'll be able to walk outside and talk to you guys tell the laptop um and obs to to read from 5.8 and then i can fly out there D depending on how the coverage is um oh I'm, I am looking for a, um, a, uh, a patch antenna that's RP, RPSMA. Uh, so if anybody has an extra patch antenna floating around that they accidentally bought as RPSMA, regular SMA has the pin in it. Um, I don't have any antennas around. <laughs> How's that possible? Wait, here we go. Here we go. Oh, no, no, here we go. Here we go. Um, so yeah, regular, um, so the, this is what the, um, the quad side looks like, right? It's female. It's got the, uh, the empty pin, the, the female side in there, you know, the hole, uh, on the antenna side, they're supposed to have a, a little golden wiener, um, that sticks into that hole. Right, and that's called that's just regular SMA. Um, Ishin, to be difficult, they use what's called RPSMA. So this connector that would be on the quad side has the little golden pin, the little penis, um, and then the antenna side has the little hole like this. So what I'm looking for is a patch antenna with the hole, which is an RPSMA patch antenna. So if any of you guys have one of those floating around, like maybe you accidentally bought it or whatever, I will buy it from you. <laughs> Um, cause they're like weirdly hard to find. All right. Uh, record is, uh, just hit the end track. I'll be right back. Look at this album, by the way, guys, tell me that's not gorgeous. And it looks like, I love when they do the half like this, because when it's, 
uh, when it's on the turntable spinning. It just looks so fucking cool. Look at all the junk, too. Anybody that's into vinyl a little bit, this is a fresh album, like, straight from the factory, and look at all this shit all over it. Always make sure that you brush, you use your anti-static brush, um, even on a brand new album. We should do a music stream. How many of you guys are like legit into music? What's up, Borgus? How are you, man? Um, yeah, Big Willie, I, I actually have a, um, I have one somewhere. Yeah, there it is. I have a, uh, an SMA to RPSMA, uh, adapter, but here's the, uh, here's the dirty little secret to these adapters, and frankly, any SMA adapters, 45 degree, uh, 90 degree, all of the SMA adapters have a law lo have loss associated with them, so really, really, really try to not um, run these unless you absolutely have to. Um, the 90 degree ones are the worst. The 45s are not nearly as bad, um, and I haven't seen any testing for these for these straight ones. Um, but yeah, uh, Menace RC did some testing with uh, Ooh Segur Ross. Oh, 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 Noid. Fuck yeah, bro. Um, let me try to find this, because I, I mentioned this a good amount, it would be nice to have, it would be nice to know how to find this real quick, so that when I mention it, I can, um, I can, uh, drop the link on you guys. I think it was Painless 360 that went to, um, that went to Menace. Let's see. All right. So if I'm on I'm on Painless's channel, where's the search? Here's the search. Okay. So uh, Men S. Just search for Menace. Pretty sure it's Painless 360 though. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So if you go to Painless 360's channel and you search for Menace, um, it's in here somewhere. Menace Adapter Pagoda, Menace RC Patch P. Here we go. FPV Antenna Lab. There we go. These are a couple really good videos. I'm just going to hit you guys with all these. With the links to all these. Because they're really, really good, like I said. Um, so here's one he did with the guy from Menace about covering your antenna. Nice license. We uh, found it at the same time. <laughs> Alright, so there's one. Here we go. Here's the adapters one. Oh, and he didn't name it. Um, he didn't name this one FPV Antenna Lab, so that would make it hard to find. Um, oh, look at that. Wow, there's a bunch in here. Okay, so here's the one that I'm mainly talking about with the, uh, with the adapters, showing the loss. So that's the one that I really like. And, you know what? We're gonna make a Patreon post with this. This is such a good example of the kind of Patreon post that I want to be making. Um, again, it doesn't always need to be my info, just the good info. Alright, let's give that a second, and here is... Got it, okay. Man, Patreon is slow as fuck. Oh, Patreon, you're so slow. Jesus Christ on a cracker. There we go, okay. Um... Uh, what can I what can I call this post? Um, uh, antenna. Uh, what are they called? Adapters, right? They're like adapters. <laughs> antenna adapters suck. Hello. Hello. The front door just opened and closed. Uh, bing, bang, boom. 
You're fired, Bob. Uh, and then we're going to do tags, tech talk, and there we go. Antenna adapters suck, I called it. There we go. Okay, patrons only, published now. Hi! How are your plants? Is this too loud? Don't lie to me. Okay. All right, Big Willie, thanks for hanging, brother. Hopefully I'll see you in a bit. All right, there we go. Antenna adapters suck. Um, and then here's the third one. I don't think I've watched this one, come to think of it. Um, there's the third one. Really good stuff from uh, Painless360 and Menace. I think that's it. I don't, I don't think there's any others in that series. FPV Antenna Lab. Let's try it. Let's search for that, though. FPV Antenna Lab. Oh, my God. Oh, shit, he's got a bunch. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, there's a whole bunch. Uh, did he make a playlist? Tell me you made a playlist. Yes, he did. All right, good deal. There's the playlist. I'm going to put that into the Patreon post as well. And... Cool. What are you guys building? Um, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So wireless, wireless uh, go. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to make the, the new fund for. Okay, so we're at... 184, uh, what's that, 40, we'll just, let's just call it 40, nah, we'll do it right, 39, right, 184, 5, 39, 39, I think that's the way math works, right, yeah, 39, sure, if it's wrong, you know, <laughs> alright, so we are $39 into 199, for... Wireless Go White Edition. Road Wireless Go. Road Wireless Go. I guess that's just what they call it. Road Wireless Go. Road's naming convention is fucking weird. Their naming convention is... is I don't like it. <laughs> Maybe they did it for SEO or something. Uh, I'm looking for the black ones to see what they're called. Uh, I'm not going to get the black ones, though. Road Wireless Go. There it is. Okay. Road Wireless Go. Good. There we go. 39 out of 199. Look at us go. We're ninjas. Uh, License to Drive says the Antenna Lab videos are well worth watching. I think I've seen pretty much all of them. But... Uh, let me add the link to the whole series in here. Okay. The whole series is fantastic. Dot, dot, dot. Boom! <laughs> Alright, enough of that. Uh, triple feed patch comes with a short 8 centimeter SMA cable to SMA male. Um, could you just get an SMA male to RP SMA male cable? Probably, yeah. Is it 49? <laughs> Did I do that math all fucked up? <laughs> Uh, I'm the worst. <laughs> oh my god. What's funny is I wasn't bad at math. My god, I need to shave. Jesus crackers. Um, yeah, I was actually not bad at math back in school, but that was 20 plus years ago. Um, I mean, Christ, now I call it maths for God's sakes. Add to list. It's probably already on my list. Yeah, it wasn't. Yay! Um, for anyone that doesn't know about it, here's my FPV Essentials wish list on Amazon. Lots of good stuff in there. Um, most of it I've tested. Oh, why do I have iFlight Zings in there? Uh, I mean, they're not bad, but there's better options. Let's take those out of there. I mean, I got some old stuff in here. AK-32, let me just make sure I don't have any junk in here. Well, that item doesn't even exist anymore. Um, 4S650s, that's good. <laughs> Ever tried LSD, says JoJo4. I have not. I have not. Um, I've never been a, a big, well, much of a drug guy at all. Uh, Greaves from Vaz also did a good video on adapters. Nice, Huggy. Hey, can you find the, uh, can you find that link? For me, I'm making you a moderator. 
Um, it does interest me, though, Jojo. It is it is something that, um, I don't know. We'll see. Someday, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, crossfire. Yeah, I got some good stuff on here. Fucking A. Why is the Tramp $47 on here? Jeez. Uh, RC25G, run, oh, that's weird, run cam Phoenix 2 parent, micro eagle, that's a strange thing to call the micro eagle, I need to, um, I need to update this, this shit's old, don't go to that link, <laughs> it's fucking old, I need to, uh, I need to fix this, another day, what did I miss, asks Marco, not a whole lot, I'm just fucking around on Facebook right now, um, but we're about to get to work. Speaking of, oh, and you missed that in the background is the new Sherwood album playing. Um, it's called Some Things Never Leave You, and it's really good. Get it. Sherwood's doing a, uh, a buy two, get, well, I don't know if they're still doing it, but last week when I got this, they were doing a uh, buy one, get one free. Basically, if you buy their old album for like 13 bucks, they were throwing in their new album. Um, so I had to jump on that. I have a phone. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Uh, let's do some work. First off, we are going to finish the 4-inch um, the rig. Mm. Ah. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, headed to Lake Lanier again tomorrow to try to um, lose one in the lake. <laughs> uh, the wake border's coming out again, so we're going to see if we can, yeah, put one in the lake while following them too closely. All right, and here we go. Look at this. I got a new. Um, I got a new Wiha. 263 1.5 in look at the difference this uh, this one here I've been using for over 20 years I, f I realized the other day my Weha tools are over 20 years old um, I was using these 20 years ago when I was running a custom airsoft gun shop um, and yeah look at the look at the difference it's pretty pretty rad here's what's interesting though um, when I, when I put these two, like, into actual screw heads, there's very little difference. Like, even though it looks like it's worn down a little bit, um, it kind of isn't. Like, like, so for example, right, so that's in the screw head, so, and there's that much, there's that much rotation. Man, I know that's hard to see, but, um, yeah, so there's that, there's that much rotation, and then I take the new one, and like, I don't know, I, like, I'm not totally convinced, to be honest with you guys, like, I almost feel like it's, that it rotates more, which makes no sense, but I don't know, dude, I, like, wiggle, 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 and then waggle, 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 I mean, it, it definitely doesn't rotate less. I'm, I'm kind of worried that Weha's uh, quality control might have dropped off a little bit. And then I, I also got their little ball-headed ones. Let's try one of those. Yeah, like with how cheap the, the Weha tools are now, um, I don't know, man. Oh, okay, so that one just spins completely. That's not going well. <laughs> what? What the hell? Uh, it says 1.5 on it. No. Uh, Euler? Um, okay. That's... That's not going well. What the fuck? Um... Um, well, that's not going to work. What? What the fuck? How? Hold 
Hold on. Well, that's obviously not going to work. Uh, this is the M2. Does the M2... No, the M2 locks up just fine. What the hell? Why doesn't the... Uh... Why doesn't this one grab? Okay, so like it just barely grabs a socket head uh, M2 screw. But man, there's a shitload of rotation on there. What the fuck, dude? That's bullshit. Um, these might be going back. It it doesn't it doesn't grab at all on a button head M2. What? Are you fucking shitting me? Um, uh, thirty nine. Annoying. I know I don't look like it, but uh, I certainly feel like it. All right, let's check some of these other ones. Nope, doesn't lock up in there at all. Uh, yeah, I mean it just. Bar what the fuck, dude? This is bullshit. Both of the new, both of these brand new 1.5s are like markedly worse than. And like, look, they, like all the numbers are the same. Um, they're way worse than than this twenty year old one that's like been. What? Um. Okay. So I'm gonna return all these because that's bullshit. I'm not dealing with that. Fuck! Come on, man! Really? Even tools are fucking with me this week? What? Come on. What the fuck, bros? Wiha. You're supposed to make good stuff. Your stuff was good. What? Man. What a bunch of bullshit. Okay, well, I... Uh, not excited about these tools anymore. What? You fuck sticks. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm gonna have to do a return, that's, that's with, with all of them, I guess, and I'll, I guess I'll go to MIP. I've always liked, um, I've always really liked these Wihas, because of the, because of their size, like, like just this, it just fits in my hand really well, and it's got this, um, little rotating back guy, it doesn't rotate and the rest of the tool rotates, so it makes it, it makes it really easy to kind of just zip it in. Um, and this, the width and the material that this is made of, it doesn't allow you to, like, really crank a screw down and strip it out. Like, I can grab this as hard as I can and crank screws down with all my might, and I don't strip them out. Because this is not super wide, and it's also not super grippy. So, like, by a function of, you know, this, it, it acts like a torque wrench, right? It, like, limits your, the amount of torque that you can that you can put on a screw, which is really nice, because then you don't have to, like, ooh, I'll just tighten it a little bit, but you just hammer it as hard as you can, and you're good to go. You're, you're you know, but by just cranking it as hard as you can every time, you're putting, like, a known amount of torque into the damn things, which, uh, for my little weak-ass hands, is not too much torque. But, that has all come to an end, it would appear. Uh, I'm assuming that my assumption here is that to compete with all the cheap shit on Amazon, um, with a, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know if it's quality control related or if they just said, okay, we're going to cut these a little bit smaller so that we never have to get returns from them f fitting too tightly, right? Or something like that. That's a uh, super duper shame though. So, I guess, I mean, do I start looking for, like, OG Wiha tools? Do I start looking for people, like, selling OG, new-in-box Wiha stuff? That's kind of insane. But, I mean, what isn't? <laughs> what isn't that I'm involved in? Okay, so, the 5-inch rig, uh, that's not at all what we're talking about here. The 4-inch rig is here. And, 
everything appears to be wired up properly. So let's get it into beta flight and click some buttons and maybe it'll fly. Right? That'll be a novel concept. This fucking thing is hanging so far out the front. I'm trying to kind of cheat this by only running 25 tall, mil tall standoffs um, by just sending this fucking top of the camera out the, uh, out the top of this cutout here. Um, and this is going to be okay once I get this foam wedge on here. Uh, I think the foam wedge is going to protect the... No, it's not. No, it's not. This thing is going to go face first into a curb and just absolutely implode this camera setup. Um, well, fuck. I really need to go up to 28 mil standoffs on this, but I did all this craziness back here. And that's going to force me to redo it. All right, I just won't crash. <laughs> I hope you guys appreciate the comedy of that statement. Um, all right, yeah, I'm not going to crash. I won't crash. That's a, that's the deal. No crash arena, Ciotti. Uh This is horrible. Throwing that away. And this is here. So let's build it. <laughs> can't believe you're the first person to call me on that, Adam. I thought you guys would be all over me for that. <clears throat> Alright, so let's spin the... You know what? I haven't even spun these motors up yet. Holy shit. Um, what am I waiting for? Here we go. Time to spin these X-Nova 1804s up, which I think are very smooth. Um... Once I spin them up, I'll be able to say whether they're smooth or not for sure. So let's do that. Uh, I'm going to leave that camera and microphone on so you guys can hear them. Here we go. <laughs> exactly, Dan. All right. Beta flight is open. Motors tab is open. Here we go. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh yeah, baby, they're smooth. Oh, they're smooth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. X Nova, thank you for making smooth motors. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's a hundred at a time. Eleven hundred. Twelve hundred. Thirteen. 14, 15. Wow, they make some fucking power too. Well, I mean, they sound like they make some power. <laughs> Jesus. They rotated that thing pretty good. My goodness. Um, okay, cool. Let's see what motor positions are like. Uh, two is where one needs to be. Oh, boy. Three is where two needs to be. Uh, that one's over there. <laughs> okay, so they're all wrong. So let's fix that first. Um, well, okay. Let's just do it in, in the... Did I put 4.2? Yeah, I did. I put 4.2 stable on there. Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. All right. So we're just going to come in here and type resource. And we're going to grab motors 1 through 4. Um, this is the dumbest way to do this, but I swear it's kind of no no slower than um, the right way to do this. Uh, so I just like changed them. There, every time I've tried to logically do this, it just I don't know for whatever reason it doesn't make any sense. So now what I do is exactly what you just saw. I just randomly change two of them. I dump it in, I save it, I come back to the motors tab, and I see if any of them are right. <laughs> and if any are right, I don't change those. And, um, yeah, that's it. So, wrong. <laughs> right. Okay, so motor two is correct. Motor three is correct. See, look at that. So, one motors one and four just need to get switched. And all will be right with the world. So we come back into the CLI. 
we pull our text edit document up and we just switch one and four. So let's chop that, we'll replace that with B01, and then we'll come up to number one, drop that in, and just like that, our motors are in the right places. But you always need to check it because it's uh, it's a fickle bitch, these, these motor resource reassignments. One is correct, two is correct, three is correct, four is correct. Now let's check the direction. Uh, just hover over the master slider and then arrow up a couple times. All right, so one is wrong, two is correct, three is correct, four is wrong. So one and four are wrong and we need to fix that within BL Heli 32. We're gonna do that right now because we also need to put the newest version of uh, the BL Heli software on here for RPM filtering. So let's do that now. Fuck, which ones did I say were wrong? Um, can, can somebody hook me up in chat and tell me which ones that I said are wrong because I forget. I think it was one and four, right? I think it was one and four. Pretty sure it was one and four. I hope to hell it was one and four. <laughs> but we'll do this. We'll do the ESC flash first. 32.7 flash selected ESC. Fuck, it won't let me do it in here. I have to do it on the laptop. God damn it. Um, can I just do it there? Nope, I got a flash BL heli on the laptop. Man, is that a fucking annoying... There's... I don't know. what it, It's some weird... It's not driver related because Macs don't really have driver issues. It's, or no, you know what it is driver related. It's just, um, it's like this, uh, the, the, the tower that I'm still limping along on, um, the operating system is so old that it just doesn't jive. I don't know. I don't know what the problem is, but the solution is to do it on the laptop. <laughs> Um, and I'm not going to spend any more time trying to troubleshoot it on the tower because I just need to f fix the actual problem. All right. Um, oh, for fuck's sake. There's a new version of BL Holly 32. Yeah, it's a, th Frank, it's a 13 year old, um, it cost me like 3,500 bucks back then, which is why it's still able to do all the things that it can do 13 years on. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's still 13 years old. <laughs> Um, well, maybe I don't need the, the new BL Heli to, to just do this flash. I shouldn't. I can't imagine that I do. And check. Okay, cool. There we go with that. Uh, let me reverse one and four before I forget about it. All right, one is reversed and I'm going to right set up. I know you guys can't see this, but it's not really all that interesting. Four is reversed as well and right set up. All right, cool. So now we're going to go to ESC flash and flash all the ESCs from 32.6 to 32.7. Um, so let's give that some time and let me, let's see if the video system is working. See what we got. Well, there's something. It's transmitting something. That's a good sign. Um, oh, it's, it appears to be on E band. It's on E3, but there's no video. Um, that's not great. Uh, there's also no OSD, which is interesting. <clears throat> what about race one? 56, 58? Yeah, I mean, there's there's a gray screen, but that's not really what I want. I'd rather have video. That would be nice. All right, so the, the video system is not working. Uh, album is done. Oh, did you stop that by chance? Yeah. Thank you. Um, ESCs are flashing. And, all right, cool. 
move this over here. All right. So that's not working. Let's see if the transmitter is working. <clears throat> see if we get anything in. Uh... Uh, you know what? I'm actually not going to. I'm not going to go in orbit because things. Because things, guys. Because things. Okay, where is my apple sock? Are you hiding? Uh, yeah, there it is. All right, immersion power play is getting put away. How's this thing doing? Ooh, that did well. Uh, flash successfully, successfully, successfully. Zah. Okay, good. Uh, so now we're going to disconnect. And... <laughs> we can hook it up to the computer. First and foremost, let's pull power. Uh, because that VTX is going to be getting hot. And now we're going to... Shut the laptop. Plug it back into the tower. All right. Um, the other problem with this build that I just realized is that I believe I put the, uh, I don't think I used the right five volt pad for the receiver. And, um, if you do use the correct one, the receiver will get power from USB. Um, if you do not, it won't. And it would appear that I've not used the right pad. So to get the receiver to fire up, I have to um, I have to put power to the whole rig, which is just an, an annoyance. But let's uh, let's yo. You know what? It's not bound either. What is this on Crossfire? Fuck! I'm the worst with Crossfire. Uh, maybe it's bound. I don't know. Maybe I bound it. Did I bind it? I would hope that I would have bound it. I mean, that would be nice. Uh, I'm in BL Heli over here. Yeah, not bound. I'm going to kill this radio, just in case it's uh, transmitter, rather. Just in case it's giving you guys feedback. Uh, okay, so that thing's powered up. We are going to... Oh, it already connected. Nope, no, it didn't. BL Heli is going bananas. Really, Chris? <laughs> there was one day where I just looked around for all the... Because, you know, you get a million of those ESC... Or of those uh, Emacs stickers. So every once in a while, I'll just, like, look everywhere to see where I can stick them. Uh, master, slave, slave, slave. Okay, good. So that's all set. Uh, I bring up... I always bring my startup beep volume down, just so it's a little bit less obnoxious. I bring my beacon signal up. I bring the beacon delay down to three minutes. Uh, PWM, let's go up to 48. We'll give it a shot. Uh, break on stop all the way up. And apparently moving the ramp up power down is a really good idea. Um, Ryan Harrell had a great conversation with Joshua Bardwell yesterday. And uh, yeah, one of the tips is to bring the ramp up power down. They also talked about motor timing, and I, I'm... I'm uh, I kind of want to move this to auto, but I'm going to leave it on 16, and then we're going to write setup. Um, I try not to fuck with everything all at once. So at some point, I'll come in, and I'll take the two identical rigs, and I'll move that motor timing to auto on one to see if there's any actual difference. Uh, and we're done. That's everything that we're going to do in BL Heli 32. Poop, 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 poop. All right, let's get out of there, come in here. And let's see how far I got with... I think I did configure some stuff. Yeah, see, like, I put it on Crossfire. So let's see what happens when I turn the transmitter on. Welcome to OpenTX. Nothing! Open so... Let's see if we can get this thing to bind. Uh, I always have a really hard time with Crossfire getting it to bind. For whatever reason. Um, I think, like, my Lewis scripts are just old or bad or something. But, um, yeah, I don't know. 
Okay, so when you first plug Crossfire in, supposedly it's in bind mode. And then apparently I can just hit this button. And if it's flashing blue, apparently I want to hit the button again to tell it to do an update or some shit. Uh, and the receiver just went green. So maybe that's a good thing. Let's see if it's showing up in... Um... Yeah, Borgus, I've tried the TBS agent and it just doesn't work. Uh, it, it's the strangest fucking thing. It just doesn't work. Um... I've always had this issue with Crossfire. It's very strange. So, the question is, what is solid blue? I did, Yapsy. I did. Once I get it bound, it's completely fine. But, um... TBS Crossfire... What is it called? The Micro? I think this is the Micro module. It's still solid blue, and the receiver is still green, so in theory, maybe they're just, uh... Maybe they're just updating. Um, I do want to look at the manual, though. I always end up looking at the... Oh, here's a quick start guide. That's kind of nice. Ooh, latest OpenTX Lua scripts for Crossfire. That's probably what I need to, to get onto the memory card. Uh, let me do a quick search for blue. Uh, okay. Here we go, okay. Update will start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The update will start and the LED will be solid. Oh, hey, there we go. Okay, so I was right. Yeah, solid blue means it was updating. Uh, now it's flashing green. So I think... Maybe I have to power cycle it, but I think we're good. Let's, uh, let's power cycle it and see what happens. I mean, according to the instructions, we should now be all set. Uh, I do also want to reset the uh, transmitter and the micro module. So here we go. <laughs> yep, he said it's orange, it's green. Uh, so green is what we want. Give me green. Come on, give me green, you fuck. No green. Um. So, the nano is flashing green, which I forget what that means. TBS nano flashing green. This is what happens every time. Every single time I need to bind Crossfire, this is the sequence. It doesn't work, and then, and then I have to just start Googling it. Um, it's, it's very very aggravating and um, yeah it's it, it, this is every single time every single time I have to bind crossfire it's a huge fucking ordeal um, TBS nano manual Uh, all the while, the, the poor VTX is just banging away back there. Let's pull power. Um, okay. Nano RX quick start guide. Maybe it's in there. Tell me what flashing green is, bro. Find. Oh my god. Searchable PDF documents are just terrific. Yeah, the quick start guy is useless, as always, and here's the, and there's, I don't think there, yeah, see, there's not, like, an actual, that's one of the other problems, is that TBS doesn't have, like, a specific manual for the Nano, they just have that, um, they just have that quick start guide that we were just looking at, that it's, it's just completely worthless. Um, so yeah, we will... Just struggle through, as I always do. Update is running. Pulsing yellow. Ready, trying to connect to receiver, no downlink. So that's what's going on now. It's trying to connect to a receiver, but there's no link. Um, receiver status. Here we go. Uh, slow green blinking. Receiver is in binding mode. 
So, oh, I guess I still need to bind it. I updated it, but I guess I still need to bind it? That, that seems insane, but okay. Flashing green is binding mode, so it's, it's in binding mode. So I'll hit the button once. Oh. Low battery. I just had to hit the button. <laughs> All right, maybe I figured it out. Maybe I figured, uh, maybe I figured the thing out. Um, that could totally be what's been fucking me up every single time. Because why would you, why would you have to do that again, right? That's very frustrating. <laughs> Fuck you. All right, well, it still doesn't work, so... Um, oh, God, this battery's gonna catch on fire. Uh, hold on. Let me make sure I didn't just over-discharge this battery. Yeah, 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 we know. So what's interesting is it was bound, but it wasn't doing anything in there. Oh, boy, this battery is hot. Hot garbage. Hold on. Whoopsie. Gotta plug this in right away. And get some charge into it. Coming back. Hold on. Oh, I'm so sorry. 54SR line, you poor bastard. Ugh, 3.17, oh, no. Ugh. No, 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 no. Ugh, okay, there we go. Another battery is plugged in and dumping its power. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna charge these two. Just gonna charge these two fellers. And all right. No, not ten amps. No, 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 no. Six. Woo! That was a close one. Uh, I need a four S battery. Ooh, I got one. Oh, yeah, let's use this stupid Pyro Drone 700 MAH. This will be good. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if we can get the goddamn receiver to show up. So, all right. It's, uh, it's bound, but it's not showing up here. Maybe I put it on to a different UART. <clears throat> Not overcharged, yeah. I, I uh, overcharged is scary shit. Uh, okay, nothing yet, so it's not on that port. Let's try port f UART four just for the sake of it, and then we'll try six. <laughs> I'm used to it auto connecting. I had to turn that off the other day. Nothing. Config sh should be on CRSF. Let's check it. Yep, config is on CRSF. Let's check the last port. Save and reboots. If this doesn't work, I'm going to try to get in to the Lua scripts and reverse the RX and TX because I might have wired it up backwards. Try one more time. You are at one again. Uh, not, not the, the, the nightly latest, but somewhat recent. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, Borgus, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, I updated the module a month or two ago. Uh, so it should be somewhat recent. Let's just change this before I forget. Okay. And 
Okay, so let's see if I can... Well, I did download the new Lua Schlip Schlap. Uh, Tyrannus QX7, Crossfire. Oh, look at that. There's a new Lua. Okay, I, I think I can just drop that onto the memory card, maybe? Ah, fucker, the bottom door bay just decided to commit Harry Carey. God damn it, Larry. I knew that was going to happen eventually, but I'm just trying to avoid it for as long as possible. Well, it's still kind of okay. Chris Ferret says, with Crossfire, do you flash the RX and TX? Um, yes, I think, is the answer to your question. Um, you, uh, yeah, there, there are firmware updates available for both, so, um, basically, once you get your, the, the firmware on your module, uh, you then, the, the module will update the, the receivers as needed. Uh, or every time that you try to to bind to one, I should say. And then wonderful things happen. Okay, so I think can I? I think I can just drop this crossfire folder directly in here. I, I think they kind of want you to do that. I think they want you to replace the whole folder because of some directory bullshit. I don't know. Maybe that's just a PC thing. All right, so that is now good to go. In theory, the Lua scripts will work better now. Let's give it a shot. They've always been uh, useless. They've never really worked. So now I've got to power cycle this, and I'm going to power cycle this as well. Yeah, come on, shut off. All right, so let's get that. And then I'm going to plug back in. I'm going to put the memory card back in to the transmitter. Ah, I can't believe that plastic broke. That's so annoying. It's really bound it. I mean, it's, it's going to happen to all of them, though. Uh, okay, power this back on. And we're going to put power... Welcome to OpenTX. So this fella, what time is it? 7.30? I guess I'm not flying today. That's okay. I'm going to do plenty of flying tomorrow. Okay, so it's bound, so let's go into the menu, and we're going to go to Crossfire, Crossfire.Lua, Execute. Hey, there's the Nano. Very cool. All right, let's give the Nano a second to load in here. See, this is what it would. Do. This is what it used to do, though. It would. Um, I need to put the antenna on here. I don't want this micro module to like burn out or some crazy shit. Hey, there it goes. Okay, so that's working. General mode, eight channel telemetry on, dynamic fail safe cut, RC my Mavlink. I don't know what that means. Uh, okay, so here it is. Here's the the TX and the RX. Let's uh, let's swap those, and maybe that's the problem. So output one, I'm gonna switch over to Crossfire RX. Um, well, I I probably need to release the other one first. Um. Crossfire TX. Here we go. Oh, can you not reverse those? I thought you could. Fuck. Doesn't look like you can. God damn it. Really? I was pretty sure you could swap those. What the fuck? Come on, really? Output 1 on the output map. There's Crossfire TX. And there's a big long list. And I don't see Crossfire RX in the list. What the fuck? God damn it. 
DSMX, Smart Audio, Mav TL, Crossfire TX. Yeah, it looks like you can't. Damn it. Okay. Um, well, I might need to swap wires around. I I'm usually pretty careful about it. Fuck, man. Telemetry lost. Telemetry Max power recovered. 250. Dynamic power on 915. OP mode. What is it? Overpowered? Oh, telemetry. Um, damn. Okay. Well, the Lua, the Crossfire Lua scripts works again. That's pretty awesome. Um. Huh. Yeah, the the RSSI is a fucking nightmare. Although now it's uh, now it's not an issue with the RSSI. Uh, you just turn all the RSSI stuff off in Betaflight, and it just magically works. Unless it doesn't, like it is in our case. <laughs> Telemetry lost. Um, fucker! God damn it! I was. God damn it! I know that I was careful when I put it together. What the hell? This is why I stayed with RXSRs for so long. You bind them, they work. You choose your telemetry channel, you're done. Or your RSSI channel, rather, and you're done. Um, I don't know, man. I, I, every, every time I've had to get Crossfire set up, it takes longer than, than I feel like it should. It takes longer than FR Sky, basically. Which is frustrating. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta jump off a building. Uh, so it looks like it's white and yellow that I've got going here. And then, okay, so there's the white and yellow. So let me look at the, um, let me look at the manual for the flight controller, which is over here, and all right, good, 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 good. So I need to look at the bottom, and it would appear, what? What? What the hell pads did I put these on? odd. Oh, okay, no. All right, all right, all right, all right. So the white one, I brought... What? Hold up. Hold up. Okay, so we've got... Here's our bundle from Crossfire. Okay, here's our Crossfire bundle. So we've got white and yellow. Where do they go? This is from the VTX. So the VTX yellow is back there. Okay, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. And then... I've got white and yellow up here. And the... Which one's on the outside? Shit. Yellow is on the outside and then it's white. So that means yellow is on the outside and then it's white. So the yellow on the outside is on RX4. So I'm assuming. Why is it yellow? RX4. Oh, I know what I did. Okay, I know what I did. RX4 and then TX4. So then the white is on TX6. Okay, so that's good um, because. Let me get this smart audio set up. We can at least get smart audio working. Uh, so I put it on, what did I say, six? Yeah, TX6, okay, so let's fix that. Let's fix that first. Uh, tramp audio on 
You are six. Save and reboot. So now if I can get the video to show up. Oh, you know what? I don't have the the table set up. That's why the that's why that's not working. So let's just do this real quick. Uh, we'll get that, and then we will save. And then the, I might need to drop something into the CLI. Let's see. Um, Tramp protocol. But then there's. Here we go. Setting up uh, VTX tables in the CLI. Okay. Uh, here we go. Tramp, smart audio, smart audio. Uh, here we go. This is where I want to be. CBS Unify, Evo, IRC Tramp. Come on, tell me the, the tiny tramp. I need the tiny tramp, bros. Where is the tiny tramp? Wait, no. Is that what it's called? Or is it called the Tramp Nano? Just search for the word tramp. Uh, IRC tramp. I mean, maybe it, maybe it's fine, but power levels five. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? License, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Borges says Betaflight 4.1 upwards RSSI works on its own, from what Joshua Wardwell said not too long ago, uh, and it does on my new build. Yeah, mine too, Borges. It's really nice. It's so nice that they set that up actually. Uh, okay, so maybe this is fine. I am going to turn on low power disarm. Um, or low power on first arm, I should say. Okay, let's see if the... Uh, let's see if the video system has come to life. That would be a nice little, little like, mini win. <laughs> uh, okay. Low battery. And then I can see if the uh, smart audio is working, too. A2! Are you on A2? No. Not on A2. No. Here we go. E3 it's on. It's still a fucking gray screen, though. What the fuck? I got no OSD, I've got nothing. I'm gonna force it onto R7. Power. Alright, so here's how you force it onto a channel. And the VTX type is tramp, so that's good. Um, so yeah, enter frequency directly. What? No. No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Race band, 7, 25. And then we want to leave pit mode off. So that should force it onto race 7. Let's see if it has. Yep. Low battery. So there it is on race seven. Nope. It's gone. What the fuck? It's coming in strong on race one, but it's just gray. Oh my god, I fucking hate quads. I fucking hate them. Fuck you! Uh, every fucking time I build something from scratch, it fucks with me. I don't understand it. I don't know how, I, like, how many goddamn builds do I have to do so that I can put one together exactly the same as the last one I just did with the same fucking components, and it's gonna work. How many times? How many builds do I need to do? A thousand? Fuck. Um, maybe it's on, well, so I, see, I, I, I still don't have any goddamn video, though. <sighs> uh, 
Oh, okay. So, and I also did just figure out in during that whole process that um, I need to be on UART four. All right. Let's see if we can get the receiver to show up again. Of course not. God damn it. All right, well, let's let's just keep setting it up. What's up, Double A? How are you? Uh, yes, it is, Chris. This is my specific Crossfire model, and it's 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 not um, yeah. Fuck. What's going on, Dan? Configuration, D-Shot 300, PID loop at 4K, accelerometer, yes, CRSF, arming 180, uh, let me check this real quick because I haven't checked it yet, nose down, nose up, right down, left down, y'all left, y'all right, okay, so the, so that's all good, this is all fine. Modes, motors. Might as well check the motors while I'm in here. Make sure they're all spinning the right direction. Correct. 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 Alright, so the motors are good. Um... Uh, let me set the um, let me set the dynamic idle real quick. Lots of stuff that needs to get done. Okay, so I'm gonna try try a motor idle of four percent. So what I do is I go into the motors tab and I ramp this number up to 1040. All right, 1040 there. And then we look at our RPM. We look at our RPM numbers, and, and you got to kind of get an average. So we're this one is a little over 3,100. This one is at, like, right at 29, let's say. So we'll go right in between. We'll say 3,000, all right? So then, so the, the, the average RPM across all four motors at this 1040 value is uh, 3,000. So then we take a calculator and we go uh, three. We just take two zeros off to come down to, and that makes it 30. And then we multiply that by 0.8, and then that gives us 24. And that's the number that we want to use for our digital idle or dynamic idle. Fuck, what did I say? 24? Is that what I said? 24? Somebody check me on that. I think I said 24. Um, okay. So now we need to troubleshoot everything else that isn't working, which is Telemetry unfortunately everything. <laughs> uh, first off, where is the camera signal going? Camera signal is going to the camera S pad. And that is correct. Fuck. Of course it's not going to be that easy. Uh, the camera is getting power, so I guess it must be the, the video out. Um, so we'll, f we'll look at that in a second. Let me figure out where the hell, I don't know, I guess we should do one thing at a time. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. The goddamn fucking hotkeys are down again. God damn it! Fucking OBS! Piece of shit bastard. 
bastard. All right, so let's see where the where the video lines are going. So this is the only video out. I mean, I guess technically I could have it soldered to the wrong pad, but I really doubt that. Uh, and that goes into Cam S, which is camera signal. So the flight controller is getting video. The question is, what is it then doing with the video? Is it eating it? All right, so this bundle of wires does go to the tiny tramp and then the yellow is on the V pad. I'm assuming that V is for video. I sure hope so. Um, concerned that this thing's gonna fall out the bottom. I guess it'll be fine. Uh, so that goes to the V pad there and then that's in this bundle and then that yellow goes to the second to last pad, which I already know to be the correct pad, but we'll check it. It's the second to last pad on the opposite side of the, uh, the plug header, so fuck you, OBS. God damn it. Okay. Uh, so opposite side of the plug header. So here's the plug header. So opposite side is down here. And yeah, there it is. It's on the VTX pad. God damn it. Um, oh, I hate quads. I hate them. I hate them all. I hate them all. I hate every single one of them. Let's go to Immersion's website and look at the goddamn tiny tramp. See if there's some magical fucking thing that I have to do. Where's the... Alright, here's the manual. I just... I just don't understand how it's every time. I don't... I, I like... I don't understand how after doing this many... This many fucking builds that... It's, they, they still just don't work. They just don't work. Although I guess I shouldn't be talking shit because that's the only reason why the hobby hasn't been even more ruined yet. Um, TNR I'm not using. Okay. Double sided foam. Okay. I've also learned that at this point to just read the actual manual. Um, run from a regulated 5 volt supply, which I am giving it. Um, the airflow I don't need to know about. Video, so the pad is just marked video, so that should be video in. It doesn't have another pad for video out, like the like the tiny tr uh, the, the tiny tank. Okay. Support standard tramp telemetry. Okay. Yep. Um. Three point three volt logic is required. What the fuck does that mean? 5 volt logic is not supported on this telemetry pin? What? I don't know what that means, but I don't think it matters. Um, uh, okay. All right.
Alright, so here's where there might be some fucking voodoo that I have to do. Startup LED behavior. L RGB LED indicates the state of the transmitter shortly after power up. Steady green means that the transmitter is currently transmitting in normal mode and will behave much like any other FPV transmitter. Fla transmitter. Flashing blue means it's in race mode and is not transmitting or transmitting low power pit mode. Flashing magenta means that it's in rate mode and it is transmitting on its assigned rate f race frequency. Well, mine's showing up in yellow, so that's not great. Setting channels using the button. First, a disclaimer, not designed to use the button. Um, three menu options are available. Flowchart below. Um, I don't think it's pit mode because it's I'm getting a gray screen. Um, yeah, basically, unless there's some thing in here that says you have to push a button combo in order for it to go from gray to the actual video that's coming in, I'm fucked. Um, but you never know. Uh, emergency unlock. Look at that. That's interesting. Uh, well, let's see. Was not removed from race mode after an event. Manually unlock it. Press the button on the side before applying power. Apply power and the hold, and hold the button for ten seconds until the LED is lit. Well, I mean that. That shouldn't be my issue, but God knows that it probably fucking is. Uh, all right, so let's apply power to it and oh, god damn it just once just just one time I want to do a build and just have it fucking work no it's green so it's and green is supposedly means that it's working correctly right yeah transmitting in normal mode great uh, did I buy it or rob it uh, I bought it. Yeah, see, it's just a fucking green screen. Like, it's... It's transmitting on R1, but it's not transmitting any of the video that should be... God damn it, going to it. Fuck you. Motherfucker, stop beeping, asshole. There's a button on the side? What... Where? Oh, fuck you. Okay, so now the battery's fine, I guess? That's cool. Uh, it doesn't use plugs, it uses uh, direct solder pads, and they're all, like, fucking gorgeous. Yeah, I know, Daniel. I just hate to fucking... I hate having to do that. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I have everything all put together. Everything all shrink-wrapped together. I'm, the, I'm, a, I'm an asshole for not, um, for not testing this before I put it all together. But, you know, I just figured that after having done 100-plus builds that I could just put it together the way that it should be put together and that it would work, you know? Uh, but apparently... Every single build just doesn't work for fuck you reason. <laughs> uh, hopefully it's it's stuck in pit mode though. Hopefully it's just stuck in pit mode. So I guess the first thing I need to do is light it on fire and just give up. Okay, here we go. Um, the first thing I need to do is find the fu oh there's the button. It's right there. Okay, so there's the button. So let's. Uh, Let's make sure that it's not stuck in pit mode, but it's it's it, it's not. It, it's it's transmitting hard and gray. Uh, so yeah, it's not it's not in pit mode. So when I hit the button, it goes blue, and then it comes right back to green. Not to mention that that pit mode is is flash flash, and it's not it's not flash flashing. 
Although it did go blue a second ago, which says that it should be telemetry packets that are received, which is interesting. If it had actually gotten a telemetry packet, then it would have switched to R7, which it has not. Um, it's there's a there's a very strong signal on R1 with just a gray screen. All right, so three second press on the button will get me to the channel setup. One, two, three. All right, so light blue, green, green. Short press, short press. Three second presses, press moves to band. Okay, so it looks like it's on channel three now. Blue, green, green, green. One push, blue, green, 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 green. One push, blue, one, two, three, four, four. Oh, so maybe I missed the button. One, two, three. What? What? One, two, three, four, five. What? Is that five? Is that... One, two, three, four. Six. Blue. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So this should be seven. One, two, three. Wait, no. Blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me hit it one more time to see if it goes to eight. Three, four, five, six, seven. Hit it once more. Blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope. Still seven. Blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hit it one more time. One, two, three. Whoa, what? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it is the same number. Blue, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It goes like extra green at the end, so now I'm going to hit it one more time. Oh, now that's nine. Okay, so the last one doesn't count. So now it should go down to one. Yep, okay. So then two... Wait, no, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, blue, one, two, three, four, no, that's only three. What the fuck? Come on, man. All right. Blue, one, two, three, four, five, six, no, it's just five. So then I'm gonna go to six, and now I'm gonna go to seven. All right, so now it's on seven, but just like I said, it's a goddamn gray screen. So now I'm going to hold the button for three seconds. And now it's on yellow, which is banned. And I'm going to go to magenta next because the band is already fine. It's already on race band. Yellow, one, two, green, so it's, yeah, it's on race band, so that's good. Uh, so I'm going to hold the button for three seconds. One, two, three. And now it should be magenta. Fuck, no, I changed the band. God damn it. God damn it. Yellow, one, two, three, four. Nope, that's not what I want. I need race band again, you shit. Yellow, one, two. Okay, that's channel one, band one. Now it's band two. Yellow, yellow one, two, green. Okay, good. So now I need to do three seconds. One, two, three. Now it should be in power setup. Magenta, one, two, Green, so that's 200 milliwatts, right? Magenta, one, two, green. Uh, and then three second press exits menu. Two, three. I don't know. I mean, none of this fixes the fact that it's not getting fucking video.
Yep, Frank. Everything's wired properly. Just like on the other 99 fucking builds I've done. Um, okay, l let me take a break from the video thing and troubleshoot everything else that doesn't work, which is to say everything. Nothing works. Um, hotkeys are down again because OBS is a piece of dog shit. Uh, alright, so let's try to figure out why Crossfire is not connecting. I need to look up fucking Crossfire Nano. Come on, OBS. I really, I need you to... <sighs> yeah, Athix, uh, it's... That's another option, but then I gotta power it and like. Ugh. All right, what? Well, give me the goddamn. Oh, so they just say channel one and two. Thanks a lot, guys. That's 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 super not helpful. <sighs> Jesus Christ. So to figure out which is RX and which is TX, I literally have to go into the fucking Lewis script. Welcome to Open TX. Since these assholes just put channel one out on there Th that's so not fucking helpful you know what no I i'm sure somebody else isn't as dumb as t i'm not gonna finish that fucking sentence Thank you, Oscar Liang, for not being such a dumbass. Channel 1 is TX. Channel 2 is RX. But since I have it on, I might as well confirm that. Crossfire, Lua. No, don't rename it. Select it. Execute. Crossfire Nano. And we wait. TX is 1. RX is 2. Q-R-S-T. No, it's back. It's, it's the opposite of alphabetical. So that's how I'll remember it. It's the opposite of al alphabetical. TX on 1. TX is on 1. And channel 1 is on the inside. Yeah, of course, Oscar has it right because he's a good person. TX on the inside, RX on the outside. Okay. So... Fuck you, fucker. Um, TX on the inside. So that means that the TX is white. TX is white. Telemetry lost. Okay. So TX is white. Um, and that, I believe, is going to the back here. TX is white, and it appears to go to the back of the board, I think, but I, I just need to trace it, yeah, it goes down there, and then it's right on the bottom, and it comes over, yeah, uh, so, what did I say, the TX is white, right, let's just confirm that, yeah, white, so white is the TX, and that's going to the back of the board, so now I need to come in here, and TX is white, and here's the back of the board. Fuck me, of course I did it wrong. I put TX to TX. You son of a bitch. And I cut the wires too short. I'm gonna have to rip this entire thing apart. Fuck me, man. You know, like, what the hell? I can't believe you can't change those two. Why would... Why would TBS call it channel 1 and 2 when you can't even fucking change the RX and the TX on those channels? 
Just call it RX and TX if you're not going to let me change them. Don't get my fucking hopes up. Man, I'm going to fucking roast everyone today. <laughs> Tell me the name of a manufacturer and I'll make fun of them for a half an hour and, and see if I can get them to never support me ever. <laughs> God damn it. What's good? The, the video, though, the video is all set up properly. That's uh, concerning. Well, I mean, I, I, I need to take this, I need to take this, this board off, too, because the video ain't working. Let's pull the whole fucking thing apart. Great. I really need to start testing these things before I put them back together, but, like, I don't know. I mean... Ah, uh, sorry guys, turning it off. Alright, there you go. That should be better. Oh, balls. Oh yeah, I do have that um, USB cable with the 5 volt. That's perfect, so I can just, uh, I can just patch another... Yeah, let's do that. Let's just patch another camera in. And, uh, and we'll see if the video line wants to work. Or I do have this little I do have this little thing that I made here. Um, maybe I can use this in some way. I think I should be able to use this, right? Because I have this I have this fancy little video out. Yeah, 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 I can use this thing. Okay, so this isn't doing anything, so let's just get that off of there. And then I can just put this video line on here. Okay. And then I can power this off of here. I am so glad I made this little thing. I made this little thing test tramps, but then I piggybacked another... Uh, video wire off of it here so that I can also use it to test this. So now I just need a working camera, which God knows if I have any of those. I really wish they put a little LED on these goddamn cameras. Well, now I don't have a, a battery to, to power the <laughs> to power the quads. <laughs> Always something. Alright, here we go. So let's power the quad. First off, though, let's push these things down just to make sure that they don't, like, make some weird contact and explode. So right now, the video should be working f fine, maybe. Nope. Great video. So maybe this camera's just broken. Let's try another one. And another, and another, and another. Because... All my shit's broken. No, this camera's brand new. All right. Nope, gray screen. So, um, um, oh no, this isn't powering the, this isn't powering the camera, because this doesn't have a tramp hooked up to it. I need a, uh, I need a tramp hooked up to this to push voltage out to the camera. That's why it's not working. Um, do I have a broken tramp maybe that still outputs video? Uh, or outputs power maybe? Well, the tramps don't break often, so I only have this one. Hopefully it doesn't catch on fucking fire. Oh man, I had like a piece of metal sitting across there. That was not good. Alright, let's see if this tramp still wants to output power. Maybe it will. That would be kind of nice. Please, little fella, please. Don't catch on fire. And also, don't output your own video. No, it doesn't. Well, I mean, I can't tell if it's outputting power. Oh, you son of a bitch. 
so this little testing rig doesn't do me any good. Um, and I don't have any free tramps at the moment. Fuck! Fuck! Um, yeah. Great. So I really not have any? God damn it. Okay, so I need to power this camera um, a different way. So this little rig doesn't help me, so let's get it taken off of here. This is worthless. And yeah, okay, so this is really only for powering tramps, but there's probably, uh, I just need one of the little cables for the, uh, for the, the run cam. And I'll just power it from USB. Okay, so let's get that going. Actually, wait, no, there's, there's power pads right here. I can just use these power pads. I don't have to go all crazy like this. Uh, I do need the, um, I do need a cable for the Eagle, though. What? What? What do you guys want? What? 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 No OSD. Nope. Nothing. No video. No nothing. Um. Oh. I'm retarded. If there's no OSD, why am I doing this? Um. Yeah. If there's no OSD, this is a pointless exercise. Uh. Yeah. I need to patch this directly to the, um, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, Frank, but it's, it's, it's all buried down there, and, um, no, nah, the, the VTX is totally fine, um, yeah, that, that's what I plan on doing, is swapping the wires on the Nano, but the Nano is all heat-shrinked really nicely, and, um, uh, taped down to the bottom, and I, like, ran the wires all nice, and, um, let me keep going on the video problem, though. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is just bypass the flight controller. So let's do that first. Yeah, and it's zip tied down, and the fucking Mini Mortal T is... <sighs> Fuck. This is why you test shit before you put it back together. Something that I almost never do, and... This is what I get. Because apparently there's just no point where you can just build something and have it work. Apparently that's just not an option in FPV, regardless of how many builds you've done. Apparently things just working? Nah. Nah. Doesn't exist, man. Every ow, fuck me, that hurt. God damn it, that's the first time I've actually burned myself from the tip of the soldering iron. Damn, ow, fuck you. That's hot. How hot was that? 705? That's too hot. If it was 666, I would have been fine. Damn, you guys got to see that first fucking soldering iron burn. Son of a bitch. That's gonna, man, it like. It sizzled and shit. Ooh, that's gonna itch like a bitch tomorrow. Um, okay, so that video wire is off. I'm just gonna like all half. Oh, no, I'm not because they don't reach. That's great. Really? You sons of bitches. Um, wow, I'm so happy that this doesn't reach. What if I just use solder? What if I use solder as a wire? <laughs> Here we go. We're getting janky today. Using solder as a wire to bridge this little gap. Part one. Can he do it? Can he do it? Oh, I got that one on there. Oh, I might be able to do this. 
I've uh, I've never actually tried this before. But I mean, it's metal, right? Should be. I don't know. Should work. Why wouldn't it work? Harder than I thought. Oh, nope. Wire keeps getting too hot. Hey, I think I got it. I got it. <laughs> Let's see if that works. I, I don't. I don't really have much hope for that, but <laughs> you never know. Um, nothing's bridged. Nothing's weird, right? This isn't gonna explode. Please don't explode. Okay, so if solder. Transmits video. Okay, so we're still we still got a gray screen. Um, full signal, but a gray screen. Um, so either solder doesn't transmit video signal, or um, this run cam hybrid might be dead, or the tramp might be dead. The tiny tramp, that is. Oh man, it's starting to itch already. Fuck, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I hate itchy burns. Um, all right, let's wire a micro eagle up here and see if that helps anything. All right, so this is not the right thing. Uh, Travis, these are X Nova uh, 1804 3500 KV. Oh, the itch. The itch, guys. <laughs> I've got the itch. I've got the seven year itch on my finger oh my god let me know what you want to eat Kristen and I'll go get us some food or burn the house down trying to cook it whenever I want all right cool so that's gonna be late pretty much yeah are you? Are you? A little bit. Okay. All right, guys. We're gonna um, we're gonna troubleshoot the rest of this, and then I have to go get my lovely wife dinner, uh, or make it and risk arson. So um, I need to fix this soon. I'm hungry too. Um. Uh, oh God, gonorrhea. <laughs> Confirmed. Gonorrhea confirmed. Remy Tim's got it. Kristen says, ew. Oh, God. Mess. Right off camera is such a fucking mess. Which happens, like, when I start to get angry, um, I don't clean anything. So, I make, like, this huge mess next to me. And then what's really fun is that I get really angry that there's such a big mess there. And it, it makes this wonderful circle of life. Okay. So I'm going to power this camera off of the... Oh, fuck it. I might as well power it off the goddamn power bank at this point. That way I know that the camera's getting powered, too. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take this flight controller out of the mix... Because for all I know, everything is broken. For all I know, the flight controller, the VTX, the camera, um, ESC appears to work. But, you know, with micros, you can't fucking, you can't take anything for granted. You have to assume that every single piece that you just bought brand new is broken right out of the box. That's hashtag micro life. Yes, it sucks. No, there's not a solution. 
Um, all right, red to red or red to black if I want to get lunch or dinner sooner. And black to black. All right, so this camera will definitely get power now. What we need in addition, though, is video. So in theory, this brand new Micro Eagle should work. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, since, you know, again, nothing ever works with micros the way that it should or the way that it's expected to. Okay. Power to the camera. Uh, power to the flight controller, which will fire up the VTX. And that should be it. We should have video now. But we don't. Gray screen. Great. So happy about that. So the VTX is shot, and I don't have any extras. So. Not flying a four inch today. Fuck you, world. Okay. Well. God damn it. Really? Yeah, Frank, I was being, uh, <laughs> no, you're not right, Daniel. Um, I don't even remember where the hell I got it. Let me see if there's any known issues. Of course, the goddamn hotkeys don't work anymore because OBS just wants to further piss me off. Uh, is nothing plugged in? I, I can't, I can't leave this like this. This is a disaster waiting to happen. Get these wires desoldered. Get these bare wires coming off this battery bank out of here. <laughs> All right, now we're safe. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Ugh, here we go. Okay. All right. Here we go. What's it called? Tramp Nano. Tramp Nano problem. Doesn't look like there's anything big there. Why am I looking on their website? What's what's the website gonna tell me? Yeah, it's broken, don't buy it. <laughs> Immersion RC Hub. The Hooker Nano, Athic says. <laughs> uh I pushed the button to turn the battery bank on, but sometimes it does power off. God damn it. Yeah, you're right, Frank. All right, hold on. I have it here. Let's power it off the flight controller. There's a handy little five volt and ground pad. This will be fine. Ugh. Thank you for calling that out, Frank. We cannot take anything for granted at the current moment. Yeah, fuck, that's a three volt pad. Are you kidding me? Get these three volt pads the fuck out of here, really? Yeah, there's one. There's one that I can use up on top. Camera Moinus. And camera poos. Alright, there we go. Let's get. Oh, I didn't switch the camera. I'm coming back in one second, guys. Um, I'm just gonna jankily solder this up so that it is, in theory, you know, getting power from the. 
play controller. It's like you have to do every build with a with a fucking multimeter, and you have to like sit here and multimeter every single pad, or else, you know, it's just. Well, here we are. How long does it take you to build a micro? Oh, you know, six months. Because I have to check everything 14 times. <laughs> this is why I fly 5 inch. <laughs> Legitimately, this is why I fly 5 inch. Like, not kidding at all. All right, so now, in theory, what the fuck? Tell me to just bend one of these pins. In theory now, because we don't know if the flight controller is blown up, it might it might have just exploded for no reason, um, or the five volt back on it, maybe that blew up. Um, but in theory, now it's getting power and video directly to the VTX. Nope, gray screen. So the VTX has failed. It seems. What's it called? The Nano? Man, I really wanted to fly this. God damn it. Uh, in case you didn't know this, if you click on the date and the time of a uh, of a Facebook post, oh god, excuse me, um, it'll open it. It'll open just that post in a in a separate window. So, like for example, I just searched for Nano in here. I can just go and hold. Uh, it's command on an apple, but I can just hold command and click all these dates and it'll just open them all in separate tabs and it'll it'll load the pages like it's loading all those pages now and then I can just um, I'll show you all right so I opened up a bunch and now I can just uh, command W to close these to, to start flying through each individual one. So here's the first one that I found. And see, it's just this post, right? Like there's no, there's no more posts from the immersion hub. It's just this specific post, kind of a handy little thing. And then yeah, I can just close and that pulls up the next one. Um, PAL and NTC, oh man, could it be a PAL NTSC problem? Please no. Oh, this is an old post. This is 19 weeks old. That's too old. Uh, UART control issues, it looks like, is a known issue. Nice, Eric. Um, I see all the orange in the chat, guys, but um, I want I, I got to finish this up as quick as I can here. Um, to go get some dinner, so I, I apologize. I'm going to try to get to him, but... Do you mind? Do, do, are you ahead enough on work to be doing it? Okay. Thank you, honey. All right, so uh, it looks like there is a UART control problem, but I can't even get there because I can't even get the goddamn video to <laughs> to come out that's going into it to come out of it. Mm. 
That's not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do either. Come on. God damn it. Click the right thing, you imbecile. Messenger is currently unavailable. Um, okay. Yeah, you're you are not kidding, Daniel. Um, okay, so it looks like you are there's just a UART control problem. Um but that's not What's going on here? Um, here's another person with York control issues. No, that's not it. No. I mean, this is just this is just new product growing pains. I, I shouldn't be I shouldn't be using such a brand new. Uh, Borga says you can change the UART control within the Lua scripts. Oh right, Lua scripts. I always forget about that. Um. This is too old. It wasn't out back then. Um, hey, look who it is. It's Shane. Tramp Nano. Checks continuity again. Unlock from pit mode. Unable to change channels and bands. Be it, oh yeah, see, this is another UART control. God damn it. Hey, Tony replied directly back to Shane. That's pretty awesome. Um, Calibre and... Yeah, breaking arms is uh, is important. Break all the arms, guys. Fly this shit hard and fucking smash it. It's such a cool part of our hobby that we can do that. It's a very frustrating part of our hobby, but it's a it's a very unique part of our hobby that we can just obliterate our stuff and then cheaply and somewhat quickly repair it. Once they're built and they're and they work, they're fucking fine, but <sighs> God damn it. What the hell is this? Oh, look, what the hell? This one has... Why does this one have a video out? What? Six weeks ago. Tramp Nano. No, that is a tramp. Why does that... I swear to God, that looks different than mine. Where are the fucking pads? Don't I have the goddamn manual opened? Look at that silk screening. V O and then V I. What? what? Telemetry five volt ground video out video in. Why? I didn't. I swear to God, if I have it. going on braille yeah I, I have some work to do and it's just not going well not going well right now one two three four five five pads where's the where's the 
5 volt out. Okay, so it's 5 volt out. See, that's what I thought. Video, 5 volt out. Ground, 5 volt in. Telemetry in. And I've got the video. I'm on the video pad. And the video pad is on the same side as the as the TNR ports. Yeah, I mean, I'm on there. The solder joint is, like, beautiful. <laughs> I really wanted to fucking... I, I really wanted to get this finished today. For like the past three streams, I've had four inch in the fucking description, and god damn it! I just don't understand. I just don't get it, man. I, I don't. I don't get it. And like I said, I'm pretty sure I don't have any extra VTXs. I was so looking forward to using this. I really like like I've been waiting for a small tramp forever. I'm about to just bail on this, and I, I've got two glides that need to get repaired for tomorrow. Um, I hate to have to bail on this, because I know you guys want to see it, but um, I'm just going to lose my mind and start bashing things if I have to keep troubleshooting this. Oh, you bastards. Well, let me try a different camera because maybe maybe two both of these eagle micros are blown up. I mean, uh, this camera worked when I took it out, so m maybe it didn't just fail while it was sitting here, although I've certainly had components do that. But, I mean, at this point, I'll have plugged in three cameras. Uh, I think that's a pretty good point to be able to say, yes, it's not the camera, it's the VTX. I mean, it's outputting a, like, a, a very high, a very strong signal on the channel that I have it set on. It's just gray. So, yeah, I mean... <laughs> uh, good idea, Steve-O. Good idea. Oh, this charge is done. That's great. Good thing I charged batteries up for the quad that doesn't work. I'll be right back, guys. something to watch. I can't just leave you guys hanging like that. Hold on. I gotta at least give you a fucking... Come on, hotkeys! What's going on with 17th? Remy put 17th floor on timeout. Buddha. What? What's happening? Who's the 17th floor? What's he doing? 
Don't moderate people, just let them yell at me, it's fine, I don't care. Um... Bot Brent. Seventeenth floor. What 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 are all those message retracteds? What are you up to? As they say, one pedophile can spoil an entire classroom. Oh my god. Nah, seventeenth, we're not gonna boot you. Um unless you give us a good reason to. Um I think people are just wondering why uh there's like eighteen message retracteds in a row. Um I think we're good though. Uh, Here's something to watch for a minute. I just need to fucking breathe. I'll be back. Yeah, no pedo jokes. No pedo jokes. The uh, the British pronunciation of pedo is pedo, and I fucking love it. Um, here's something to watch. Stop typing the word pedophile, 17th floor. I need to stop saying it, too, because... Um, YouTube has things that that can yeah things um, oh well it doesn't you know it doesn't even matter that Kristen ran out to get the food because I'm gonna have to stop to eat it with her anyway so but I mean whatever what why are you still powered on what the fuck well if the VTX wasn't blown up before it is now um, all right, here guys go. I, I just, I just need a minute. I just need a fucking minute, or I'm gonna lose my shit. And nobody wants that. Just trying to get you guys something half decent to fucking watch. Here guys go.
Let's get loose. You guys feeling good? Yeah! All right. Thanks for the reminder, Steve-O. Um, man, it was, uh, it was shitty of me not to go out and get the fucking food for the record. I told Kristen I would do that, and, like, she always cooked. And, like, the least I can fucking do is, is go out and get the food every once in a while. When she's not cooking, because <clears throat> she's working on, she's got a million, like, actual, she's the only one with a real job right now. Even though it's, it's, uh, it's, um, <coughs> even though it's, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know what I'm saying. Words, words, words. Uh, well, you know, we, we can fix the, the transmitter link. You know what? I'm going to take this thing all apart. Not all apart, but I'm going to take the whole ass end of this thing apart. Um, I think I'm going to have to do that anyway to get down to the receiver. But, like, I'm really going to pull it apart so that I can get at this VTX because it's looking like I'm going to have to pull the VTX out anyway. So, yeah, let's just completely disassemble the fucking hour's worth of work that I did the other night putting this together. And, yeah. Great, here we go. So glad I put all this fucking time into making these stupid little strappy things for this to fucking sit in. Out of shrink wrap, like a, a true nutcase. I mean, <clears throat> I guess I was just trying something. Oh, look at that, I even put, the, you know what? And I'm gonna go up to the, the taller standoff. So you know what? Fuck this whole thing. It's stupid to have this. I, I can't believe I left it on these this these twenty five mil standoffs for this long. That was the that was the most insane thing to do. Um, there's just that yeah, it's just stupid. And 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 the arms are above the base plate on this, so I can totally go up to the taller standoffs because the arms look to be three maybe four mil. And then the the sandwich plate, X plate up on top is another like probably mil and a half. So that the um yeah. Yeah, so we're we're good. This is gonna be fine. We're just gonna completely we're gonna just fucking yes disassemble Johnny Five. Ready? You guys ready? Yes disassemble? Somebody type it. Everybody type it in the chat. Everybody type yes disassemble. If I don't see it at least ten times, I'm I'm never streaming again. <laughs> I need to uh, I need to come up with with like new threats. I'm running out of threats. <clears throat> there it is. It's there's it's there once. All right, nine more times, or else uh, no more Ciati on the internet. I'm gonna delete all social media. I'm gonna live like a goddamn nomad. Man, I like Loctite these all nice and everything. Like, I really paid attention. Look, I got little pieces of shrink wrap on the bottom so that, you know, just in the off chance that the. Oh, it just popped right off. That's nice. <laughs> oh, disassemble. You. Got jokes, Mauer got jokes. Empty threats. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 actually what I need is more empty threats. <laughs> I'm glad you guys realized that. Like I'm glad nobody's called the police yet and been like, yo, I give this guy ten dollars a month and this motherfucker just threatened my life. Can you go uh, arrest him? And the cops would be like <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna stop right there. Um, <laughs> yep, yep, not gonna finish that one. Just gonna leave that be. So, let me level with you here, VTX. I need you to work. And if you're not gonna work, I'm going to hit you with a fucking brick. 
So, it's on you, man. My suggestion would be to start working because I'm not somebody you want to fuck with. I'm like 7,000 times bigger and heavier than you. I do this when I'm alone, too, guys, for the record. Like, I, I, I give electronics every possible chance to do the right thing. All right? I warn them verbally. I, I, I mean, I guess I could use, I could learn sign language if I wanted to go next level with it, but. Thank you. I was just telling the chat that it's really shitty of me not to have stopped and gone and gotten the food, so I, I apologize. Okay. I was enraged and not thinking clearly. Okay. But I do love you more than anything else in the world. And as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to bite your face. All right, well then, since you don't want that, I will not bite, I'll give a present to you, I will not bite your face. It's about the nicest thing I can do for anyone. Um, <clears throat> Big Willie says, send it to me, I'll slay it with my GoPro. And be guaranteed to hit a brick. Yeah, that's that's actually what I should be doing. I should just be, that should just be the threat. Or maybe that's why my shit never works. Maybe it's like no, no, anyone but this guy. Anyone? No, please, not him. Anyone but him. Oh. So this is the, this is like the, the gut check moment of like, make up, make up an excuse and like, and be like, oh, I gotta go eat. And then like when I come back or just like, I just won't mention the four inch for a while and then it'll be like, oh look, it's flying. Um, or I could do the right thing, which of course is what I'll do. Um, and admit the error that has occurred here. The error that is completely my fault. Um, and the error that I, I appear to have made on both the receiver and the VTX. So, uh, I'm going to be out in about five minutes, Kristen. I'm going to start eating because I'm really hungry. Perfect. I just have to tell the chat what a dumb fuck I am and show them the error that I made not once, but twice in this build. All right. <clears throat> so... We're, we're, we're thinking that it, it's looking like I reversed the yellow and the white on on the Crossfire Nano, right? Like, that's kind of what we're assuming from the work that we've done thus far in the stream, right? Um, I had sort of blamed that on TBS a little bit. And... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'd still like to blame them for that. I still think they should have just just call it out. TX and ROX, not channel one and channel two. But um, so yeah, right. We're pretty sure that that your boy, your boy Ciotti here, the dumbest man in all the land. Um, last night or the night before, whenever I was doing this, right? 
I've switched them. We're, we're thinking that to be the truth. Pretty sure that's the truth. All right. So then, I, I guess, I guess not to be, not to be outdone, by doing it wrong there. I guess my brain was like, well, we should do it wrong twice. We should do it wrong here as well. And somehow get the the white and the yellow mixed up again. Again. So yeah. Oh wait, why is it on the zoom mic? Can you guys even hear me? Wow, the zoom mic works pretty well from that far away. It's not supposed to be on the zoom mic. Shit. Shitters. Uh, zoom mic off. Webcam audio on. Now you guys can probably hear me a little bit better, although this is a shittier mic. Uh, you guys can hear me? Oh, that's great. Um, is this better or worse? Um, so yeah, I, uh, I did it twice, I think. I'm pretty sure that I'm sending the video signal into the telemetry pad, into the smart audio pad, and that would all, yeah, yeah. Louder but worse. Really? Really? Huh. So... What you guys are saying is that when I turn this mic off and turn the zoom mic back on, that it actually sounds better. I'm sure it sounds better right now because my mouth is pointing towards it. Um, my question is, can I increase the gain on the zoom mic just on this bench audio? So let me increase the gain so that'll bring the volume up for you guys. But now I gotta switch to a different scene. Yeah, see that that changes the uh, it changes the the volume of the mic everywhere. Interesting. Some background noise too. I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna leave it like this with the gain turned up a little bit. And um, <clears throat> yeah. So yeah. All my fault. <laughs> All my fault. It says V here, though. It's got a V there. Why does it have a V there? But then these guys are connected. Oh, these guys are supposed to collect connect to telemetry. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Ah, uh, okay. So it comes with a little TNR wand uh, thingy, you know, for, for Immersion RC's tramp um, channel changing wand red thing. Um, so it says when, when you, if you take, if you, it says that if you take that wand thing off, which I'm never going to use that wand, um, that you should set, you should solder little wires. It says this in the manual between those guys and telemetry. And instead I soldered those to the video, uh, which is probably causing issues. Um, frankly, I'm with, with all the things I did wrong, I don't think I actually switched the yellow and the white. So that's kind of cool. Um, so I only, it, it would appear that in this build, I only, switched, I only got the yellow and white wrong once, <laughs> which is, you know, I mean, that's one too many times at this point for me, but Maybe at least I didn't get it wrong twice. And uh, we're gonna find that out right now. Before I go eat the Popeyes that my beautiful wife so unbelievably kindly went out and got, even after I swore to her today, I swore it. I got down on my knees and swore to her. I didn't really do that. She just said to me earlier that she has a lot of work to do today and could I handle dinner? And I said, yeah, totally. I definitely won't be headed down a depressive spiral of <clears throat> having gotten a whole bunch of things wrong in a row lately. 
with these stupid fucking toy helicopters. Um, and now it looks like I just bridged about 80 things on here. So now I'm going to see if I can burn my face with the soldering iron. I got my finger earlier. I'm going for my face this time. There. Okay. Okay, it's no longer grounded to 14 things, but <clears throat> now I need to put these fuckers on the right. <sighs> Fucking bad. Fuck. <laughs> I. Oh, maybe I can like whisper fuck and you guys can't hear it. Um, that'd be like a nice little bonus. Okay, hold on. Just doing, I'm just doing, man, you guys can't see what I'm doing either. Nah, dude, I have to know. I have to know. Don't you, don't you fucking tell me what to do, you bastards. How dare you. Don't you tell me to eat. I'll eat when I'm good and goddamn ready. <laughs> Zip zap, zibbity zab. One... Hunger wobbles. Look at that. Yeah, and of course now they're gonna stack up all weird. And I'll I'll redo these so that they lay flat. I'll just cut them shorter actually. But this is just to prove a point that I built this shit all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so now, what do I still have for the camera situation? I've just got this fucking thing. Okay. Well. Yeah, well, no, I mean, now, like, the whole thing will just kind of work, so I, I can also just sort of... See, this is where I get dumb. I already have it set up to test. Just test it, you idiot. Just test it. Don't... I was just going to desolder all the test stuff. Although I've kind of troubleshot all of the... No, I haven't, because I haven't actually gotten it to work yet. So we're not sure that anything works yet. <clears throat> um, okay, here we go. Uh, I don't even care anymore if shit's touching and blows up, it's fine. It's not fine. It's gonna catch fire. There's like 18 metal things around. Oh god. Please. Live. Just live. Please be video. Please. 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 No, no, no. It's fine without the antenna for just one second. And look, I've got video. Okay. Unplug, 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 unplug. For anybody that doesn't know, um, these nano VTXs use the antenna as a heat sink, um, so you cannot leave these plug <coughs> powered on. <coughs> I only have it set to 200 milliwatts, so it would probably be okay with that, but at 400 milliwatts, you cannot power these things on without an antenna plugged in. Um, and I did have video, so yeah, I fucked the build up. Um, I still think it's stupid that <laughs> TBS doesn't call out RX and TX on the goddamn user manual, manual for the Nano, but, um, yeah, everything, <laughs> zero, zero responsibility to be had on Emergent RC's side. Go figure, they've always made awesome stuff, and they still make awesome stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go eat dinner, and then I'm gonna come back, and we will, um, finish this up and fix two glides. I'll be back. It's gonna be a separate stream. Uh, I might just delete this stream. Should I delete this stream? Tell me in the chat if I should delete this stream and just leave the second one. Um, I can't tell if this was funny or obnoxious. I'll be back later.